Major Slack Attack. Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome back to my Necromage Vampire walkthrough and it is official. We are now a full-blown stage 4 vampire. How do you feel, Slackula? Where's my Bloody Mary? I told you, Slackula, they don't have Bloody Marys in Skyrim. But tell you what, over the course of the next 30 minutes, okay, you are going to drink over 40 bottles of mead and or wine. Now that's more than a bottle a minute, that's got to count for something. Well, I guess it will have to do. Have to do? <laughs> well, Slackula likes to get his drink on. And I have developed a new skill. I've developed a new skill. It's called... Mead running. <laughs> mead running is a fine art of quickly guzzling down a bottle of mead just before your stamina bar bottoms out, thus allowing you to continue to sprint. Um, yeah, it's actually... I, I have actually developed this into a fine art. It's really cool. Um... This is going to be very useful as we make about, I'd say about half a dozen trips across the full length of Windhelm. Um, power leveling speech by selling potions to Sadri and enough of the yakety yak. Let's get busy. What time is it? It is business hours. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we're bottomed out already. Um, let's set up our first mead running source, which is the Alto Wine. There you go. It's no secret the Aretino boys always will listen to you. Take a good look around. I'm sure huh? you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Alright, Sadri, listen, I'm thinking of starting a life of crime. Do you deal in stolen goods? All my goods are legitimate. Which is more than I can say for some. Oh. How disappointing. Nothing in here is stolen? Nothing at all? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. Uh-oh. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. Is that right? Okay, tell you what, I could return the ring for you. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look. What if I sneak dangerous. it into her, you know, put but a dress? If you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something. I will make it worth your while. I can do that. I can do that easy. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. Well, duh. Okay. Quiet now. Okay, here we go. Viola's house is on the other side of town. And stamina about to run out. Mead running. Mead running. Whee! <laughs> and first stop is the graveyard. In the graveyard there is 12 nightshade. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight, nine, ten. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I know there's twelve. Hear my prayer, son of Akatosh, and grant peace to these eleven and twelve. Got him. Okay, next. Viola's house is up there on the right, and don't forget these. Hanging moss here. And there's more hanging moss here. You missed one, Slack. This, this one is false. It's not, you know, you can't. If anybody has found a way to harvest this, post a comment. I don't know how to do it. That's always been a problem. Okay, here we go. Quick save. And here we go. Alright, nothing fancy. Let's just put the ring in and get on our merry way.
Excellent. All right. Now, before I forget, let me put on the Amulet of Zenithar and check my active effects. Fortify Barter. Fortify Barter. Let's see if we can find the beggar and give her a coin. More Nightshade here. This one you can get if you just kind of... We got the nickname I've done it before. Quiet. I'm trying to... With us guards here in Windhelm. Suicide. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Dang it, I had it before. Here! This like, it's like lock picking, it's like a tiny window of... Okay. Oh, looks like all the Alto wine is gone. Um, so that. Spare a coin. Sure. There you go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Divine. Let's set up a new source of mead running. How about um, this wine here? It's your kind heart. The divine smile. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> and there we go. Look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I okay, quiet now. Stored away. Quiet, quiet. Have you taken care of that little problem? I have indeed. Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Now give me everything. Speaking of fortune, here. Everything I earned from Atta my boy. last shipment. It's yours. 400 gold, sweet. Okay, so let's take a look at our supply. 2256 gold. Again. That is enough Good to, to buy you. a round Trinkets, of, and ends, that sort of thing. speech skill training. But first, let's sell everything. Don't need that. Um, keep the mace, keep all the daggers, and sell everything except the clothes on our back. We don't need this anymore. Henceforth we're going stealth assassin. Um, do I have the patience to sell all these one at a time? That's not probably gonna make not much make that much difference. Um, sell that. The carrots we might be able to use to make some uh, beef stew. Sell all the cheese and the apples and the honey nut treat. No, not the honey nut treats. I guess the honey nut treat. Keep that. Sell all the apples. I don't have the patience to sell them all one by one. And we're good. Now oh let's buy some speech skill well, training, which only becomes right available place. once you've done that little favor for Sadri. Five times, please. And we are on our way to power leveling speech and up to 50. There's many ways of doing this. You could actually do this doing speech like checks alone, but we're just going to throw money at the situation. We got lots of money. And we're up to 26. One more? 27? Okay, so now we can safely level up one more time into health. And before I forget, let me put a point into alchemy. And how much money do we have? We are just short of buying another round of speech skill some training. So let's go make some potions. If you'd like. Oh shoot. He was talking. Oh, great. Okay, good. Yeah, whenever people are talking and you go through a door, you tend to drag them through the door with you. And it looks like the Alto wine ran out. Okay, so we're working on the honey broom mead now. Whoops. This is kind of funny. You have to... Oh, it worked that time. Oh, okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> there we go, mead running. Whee! And don't forget these hanging moss here. Two on this side and two on the other side. Let's go make some potions. 
I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, quick save before every major crafting session. We don't know what's inside. As soon as we get alchemy to 20, we can put another point to alchemist. So we only want to make enough potions to get up to 20, and then we're going to exit out and plunk a point to alchemist. First power power potion we're going to make, as I said earlier, Dragonstone, Fly Amanita, and Mora Tapanella. There you go. Up to 20. That's it. Stop. 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 And let's wait for the little drum roll to finish. I always like to wait till that finishes. I've been ripped off before cutting it short. There we go. Okay, so another point into alchemists. We now are going to make more powerful and more expensive potions. Um, we need more than seven potions. So let's do the same thing again. Let's make five more, making 12 altogether. One, two, three, four, five. That'll do it. You gotta be careful that you don't over level. So, like, you know, maybe one or one just make all the potions at once. Don't do that. Because you'll I've end up, like, skipping over levels that you could buy skill training for. Which is what I call over leveling. <laughs> I just love meat running. I think it's so cool. <laughs> Got something for just about everybody in here. Okay. Give a holler if you have any questions. Another thing You're about Sadri is like the rest of the people Oh, he's going to give us a present. Of dealing with on a regular basis. Okay. Here. I'd like you to have this. What do we get this time? A book. Dude, how about a bottle of wine at least? Okay, All whatever. Good. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve um, it. Um thing about Sadri is, even if you go out of his zone, he still keeps the gold that you spent on skill training. Most other merchants who sell skill training won't do that. As soon as you go out of their zone, their, their gold supply goes back to their default. But yeah, Sadri is good like that. So, um, first of all, let's sell him some potions. Take some of that gold back, see if we can level up speech again. There we go. Keep selling here. And one more. There we go. Now, Trader let's buy another by. round of skill well, training. You've come to the right place. There we go. Boy, yeah. Make it quick. Power leveling speed here, boss. Need One more, something. 32. And we're good. Now we can safely level up. We have health at the target level. Let's start putting points into Magicka. Very good, and we didn't over level. Um, let's put one point into a lure, even though this won't help us because um, Sadri's male, but. Um, mm. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them junk. Uh, do we have any potions to get or some of its, the money back? There we go. Take that back. And we have enough to buy another round of skill training. Let's do it yes. again. Well, you've come to the Another right round, place. bartender. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, just throw money at it. Say what you want about any other methods of leveling up skills. Whatever it's method something. you got. You know, like casting Muffle over and over again to level up Illusion. Nothing measures up to Speak. just throwing money at and buying skill, tra buying skill training. Nothing. Okay. And level up again, and we ran out of potions to sell them, so we're gonna have to go back and make some more. Let's do that. What is it? And time for a little more speed run, or not, <laughs> not speed running, mead running. Something you'd only be required to do as a vampire. All right. Um, whoop. Quick save before every major crafting session. We should have 14 left. 14. Yeah. 
this is the bottleneck. We only have 14 fly amanitas. So let's make them all. And this will finance another round. And it'll don't level up because we don't want to waste our skill training purchase rates for this level. And as you can see, we're power leveling alchemy as well. I think that's it. Do we have it? Oh, we still have some Nord meat. Okay, good. very good. Okay. You had me worried, Slack. No, no, no. We still have some Nord meat. Don't worry about it. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. All right, oh, where are we? Um. Trinkets, odds and ends. That's in the operation, we need to sell to get money back. And that's it. I like to share my good fortune with those who... Well, you've come to the right place. Another round, bartender. By recently with some lovely pieces. Okay, so we're getting close to the target level of 50. We can safely level up because we spent our skill turning purchase rates for this level. More points into Magica. Oh, just short of leveling up. Fantastic. Sweet. Fantastic. So we didn't over level. Great. Um, we are going to over level the next time though, for sure. There's no way around it. Um, tell you what. Yes, yeah, in fact, as soon as we sell them this, we're probably going to over level. Okay, that's okay. Yes, yes, I haven't. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, up to 45. Tell you Make what, up. let's buy well, you've come to the right place. speech skill training twice. That's all. Okay, so at least we won't waste all the skill training purchase rates for this level. Now, let's go back behind the counter here. Read the speech skill book, that's up to 48. Stu aren't considering any thievery. And now, let's go talk to Aventus Arentino and set in motion to acquire the Dark Brotherhood's gear. Which is just around the corner here. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. This is all connected, for those of you who don't know, this is all connected with killing Grilla the Kind in Riften. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized okay. in blood and fear. Okay, number one, make sure you grab the stuff out. Ooh, a silver emerald necklace, sweet. And make sure you grab this frost salts there. Please, how long must I do this? I keep Need salt order. pile. Why and Aventus, what are you up to? You've come at last! I knew you would! Are you alright? It worked! I knew you'd come. I just knew it. Okay. I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, yes, of course, the black sacrament. It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. <laughs> Sorry, traffic was a bitch. Um, contract? <laughs> my mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. 
The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. Uh huh. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grella the kind. <laughs> okay. Listen. Grella, as it turns out, I already killed her. You did? Yep. This is the best news I've ever gotten. I mean, I knew the Dark Brotherhood was good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just make with a family heirloom. Oh, and please, there take we this go. as payment. It's an old family heirloom. It's supposed Beautiful. to be pretty valuable. It should fetch you a nice price. Thank you again. No problem. Okay, now listen, Aventus. You're just a little kid. What are you doing with all these things here? You know? Like, Iron Dagger? No, 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 no. You shouldn't be playing with knives. And Nightshade? No, no, no. That's adult stuff. Look at this. Human Heart? Human Flesh? That's more adult stuff. How about this book here? No, 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 no. This is definitely PG-13. Sorry. There we go. That's a lot better. See? Now everything in here is nice and safe for a 10-year-old little boy. A bunch of burning candles next to bare wooden walls and a pile of decaying human bones. <laughs> you play nice now. Alright, so that's it. Um, now, next time we sleep anywhere except Windhelm, we're going to be transported to the abandoned shack and we're going to have to do this whole routine with Astrid. That is coming up in a moment. First of all, let's go down to Riften and get a couple of quick speech checks. Which will finish power leveling speech up to 50. And we'll also get some speech checks in the abandoned shack. One we can do with Shatter. Shatter, what can I trouble you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to... I borrowed... Now Sapphire wants her money back and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Okay, listen, I'll help you pay off your debt. You will? Yep, sure. Oh, Why not? Thank you. You're welcome. Be careful with Sapphire. Okay, quiet now. With all sorts of nasty people. Sapphire. Yeah. What's your um, problem? I want to talk to you about Shatter's debt. I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. Okay, you and I both know this is a setup. Come on. All right, there we go. all right. <laughs> 49. Well, I guess yeah. I made Excellent. enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope we bump into each other again. Okay. For work? You there. I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. Is that right? I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Okay, what do you want me to do? I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Okay. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Okay, ah, um, we're just doing this because we want to muscle the guard into leveling up our speech, or help leveling up our speech. So, on over to Miss Vilkeep. You there. You're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Okay, time for a little Jedi mind trickery. Oh, my mistake. You can go on ahead. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Atta boy. <laughs> and... Zibby. Have you come to gawk at me or is this a social call? Sibby, looks like you're in a real pickle. What the hell was the plan anyway? My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. How about I just rat you out to Maven? Sure, yeah, take advantage of the 50. guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. 
I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Okay, this is probably not necessary. I overshot. But, um... There we go. Speech up to 50. Let me just see what's happening right now. Level up. Points into Magicka. Just short. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we don't want to over level. Okay. Great. So that is it. Speech is up to 50. Um, let's go get our... What? Who? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Yeah. Got this note. Don't Who's know. it from? Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Did you just give me two letters at once? Wow, cool, great. Why don't you do that all the time? I think that's the first time this ever happened. Um. Okay, so all we have to do is sleep somewhere and we'll meet Astrid. At the abandoned shack. And we can get our Dark Brotherhood gear eventually. Is that we go? Have a little sleep. Sleep well. Okay, now the whole gist of this is we stole a contract from the Dark Brotherhood and Astrid wants us to pay it back by killing one of three gagged and bound individuals in this shack, all right? So I'm just going to fast track this dialogue to the point where we have to do our kill. Well, get to it then. Pick your guest and send the poor fool to the void. I'll give you the key to this shack and you'll be on your way. Okay, now you can actually... Ask all these guys, would, would someone pay to have you killed? And this will help level of speech as well, but we don't need to do that because we already have speech at the target level of 50. Did I get my merchant perk point? Did I remember to do that? Hang on, let me see. No, I didn't. After all that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that right away. Okay, so we now have the merchant perk point. We can now sell any type of item to any kind of merchant. That's very important once we hit the College of Winterhold. Let's just make our kill and be on our merry way. And I don't have Vampiric Drain. Hockey, there we go. What are you doing there? Make sure you kill that guy. Take a skilled armor because that sells for a pretty penny. And kill her because she's such a bitch. And you there. Come now. Whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk. Hmm? Really? Just for posterity, let's ask him this question. Would somebody pay to have you killed? Me? <laughs> Are you serious? Come on. You can tell me. We're all friends here. <laughs> the real question is, would someone pay to have me killed? Again? That's a good question. A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Who are you exactly? Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Oh, Have you not okay. heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. That cuts it. That cuts it. <laughs> And you know what? That was a very curious question you asked. Would somebody pay to have you killed again? Let's find out. <laughs> well, apparently not, because I just killed you again for free. <laughs> well, okay, well, Astrid, we've done the dirty deed. Aren't we the over indeed. For you, my friend seem to understand what's truly important. When I give an order to spill blood, you follow it. No questions, no remorse. 
Okay, we're just in it for the gear, okay? So am I free to go and you're gonna give me the password? Of course. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road. Hidden, hidden from, from view. view. Okay. When questioned by the black door, answer with the correct passphrase, silence my brother. Got it. Silence my brother. Got it. Okay. I'll see you at home. See you there. Ta-ta. See you in the funny papers. Okay, and we are free to go. Before you take off, we're going to make a quick round about the shack and collect some nightshade and some death bell. Very good. And that is it. We are now going to head up to the College of Winterhold. That is the next task before we get back into the war. We're going to join the College of Winterhold and set up shop there and start buying some restoration skill training. That is coming up next video. Hey, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. See you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.